Welcome to episode 108 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And today we're talking about how you convince unconvincible people. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So the moment of clarity for this week is that whenever you blame somebody, you actually are taking a step further from the solution because when you blame, you aren't willing to even stop for a second and consider the role that you had to play. You aren't even stopping to consider the whole situation. Actually, when you're blaming, you're in defense mode. So the second blaming comes out of your mouth, no. I hope it triggers in your mind that you've just moved one step further away from resolving the problem, one step further away from the solution. So stop blaming, start thinking. That's the moment of clarity for today. I'm so excited for what he's gonna show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. Okay, my pick for this week is birthday cards given to you by someone who really understands you and use them the kind of position for something else. It was my birthday this last week and I got a card from my 13 year old son. And for those of you who can't see it, I'm holding it up right now. It basically in the front is a graph of occupations and it has a uh, firefighter for $44,000 a year, electrician 52,000, a teacher 55, financial planner, lawyer, doctor is $189,000 a year. And then at the bottom, there's a really big bar, sparkly bar on the bar graph that says YouTube video gamer, 500,000 a month. And when you open the card up, the inside of the card says, if you wanted a better birthday gift, dad, maybe sh you should have rethought this screen time limits thing. But hey, thanks for looking out for me. I think that a well-placed birthday card is just something that I've always appreciated and enjoyed. And apparently my son, it feels the same way. And he gave me this card this week. So give somebody a card, think it out and uh, make them laugh. That's my pick for this week. All right, so this week's episode really was spurred on by a conversation I had with Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, we're sitting next to one another and I asked him a question about how you convince, how I should convince people that don't agree or understand the brand first approach. And let's just roll the clip so you can see it. Wait, what I would tell you, because I know enough about you, and this is just good advice for everybody, stop selling unsellable people. Mm -hmm. You know I believe in that mm -hmm. I have no interest in convincing anybody in this room about everything I just said. I could give a f <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. There's a lot of tier three auto. Yeah. Just move on to the next one. So I asked him a pretty clear question. How do you convince them? And he said, just don't try to convince unconvincible people. Just don't do it. And it makes like, you know, it's one of those things where it makes complete sense the moment somebody else says it. Like, yeah, why am I trying to convince unconvincible people, that seems like a really big waste of time and energy and emotional energy. And really that kind of spurred on what turned into the reasoning for writing a book. And if you didn't know, I wrote a book called The Automotive Manifesto that was really geared towards separating the people who believed in the message of a brand first approach and a human approach to marketing and conversation and sales and internal company culture, separating the people who believed in that, those things from the people who don't believe in those things. And in the auto industry, I'm saying like, look, I think maybe 10% actually, it's probably more like 5% of people actually believe it. So I wrote a book to ju do just that. So then that I would stop wasting all that time trying to decide who's convincible, who isn't. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in the future too. And I then, after I wrote the book, had this conversation with Gary, wrote the book, and then I've spent the better part of a year going out there, meeting people, talking to people, getting clients, talking to potential clients. And I realized it's still not as simple as I thought, because I still find myself trying to convince unconvincible people. I don't know if it's my personality type where I just really want 
the best for everyone. And I believe this is the truth. So it's hard for me to let go. And I always kind of, I'm the kind of person that sees the good things in people and have a tendency to overlook a lot of negative things and give them the benefit of the doubt over and over and over. It's my personality. But at the same time, um, I find myself frustrated because not only are they not convincible, but this is something that I think everybody can get a takeaway from. There are a lot of people that act convincible and they nod their heads and they say they believe it or they want to believe it and they don't actually. And you don't find that out until later. And if you're listening right now, the thing is that I'm talking about an element of sales, but don't check out yet because most of life and most of relationship, stick with me for a second, don't get offended, is actually sales. I'm talking about not just products and services and business, but I'm also talking about relationships. I'm talking about parenting. I'm talking about being a member of a community. And when I say sales, I think sales gets a bad rap because people think of sales and they think, oh, it's it's uh, slimy or smormy or trying to convince me to do something I don't want to do. But actually, it's really human negotiation. And what I say, what I mean when I say that is like the maneuvering that happens, the give and take that happens in a relationship, uh, the give and take that happens as people try to do things as a group together. It really is trying to convince people that this is a good thing because, you know, you think it's a good thing. Now, when you start to get deceptive and sales practices that are deceptive and they're intentionally misleading and you're giving and selling and convincing people of things that aren't good for them and you know it, uh, that's garbage. And if you're doing that, stop it, first of all. Second of all, you're probably not watching any of my content, but stop it. So sales isn't just products and services. Let me give you some examples, like write down the relationships. Will you marry me has a lot of things and a lot of convincing and a lot of sales that has to happen before you get to that point. You have to show that person the benefits of being in a relationship with you, that you care about them, that you understand them, that you know them. And that's all part of the process. Now, if that person is unconvincible because they don't, um, they don't like tall people, and you're tall, you can try to convince them that they like tall people, but if they don't, then they don't. And the sooner you find that out, the better it is for both of you. Thanks for listening to the podcast. As usual, I have a bunch of stuff coming up. A really awesome piece of news to announce is that Donald Miller, New York Times bestselling author uh, several times over, um, the creator of the Story Brand Framework and now Business Made Simple University, has agreed to be on this very podcast. At the end of April, I will be flying out to Nashville to record the podcast live. So I'm excited to bring you his insight because he's amazing. If you don't know who he is, oh my gosh, you're in for a treat. He's had a huge impact on my life um, as a marketer, my life as a business person. And, you know, I'll even say my life as a person, very inspirational person, has done a lot of great things and is doing a lot of great things for uh for business and personal growth. So he's going to be on the podcast. Uh, conference season fired up, uh, is firing up. I've got some speaking coming up. Um, I'll be at the Digital Dealer Convention Orland in Orlando, April uh, 6th through 8th. Uh, not too long after that, I'll be at the Driving Sales Presidents Club event in Fort Lauderdale from April 27th to April 28th. Um, I'll be at the Digital uh, Marketing Strategies Conference in Napa in May. And um, working on a cool workshop that we're going to host in Syracuse in September and uh, another cool conference I'm going to be speaking at that uh, I'm going to be announcing soon, going to be talking about soon. Gary Vaynerchuk's going to be there. It's going to be amazing. So um, yeah, a lot going on. Thanks again for listening. I hope you're getting value from this. I uh, hope you're getting the emails, reading the emails. I'm considering launching another episode of the podcast every week, a shorter version, maybe like three to five minutes, maybe a burst on Thursday, Friday, um, just to give like kind of like a moment of clarity hot take, just so you have something on your podcast list, something in your inbox that could give you a little shot of clarity, a little shot of motivation, um, so we can all keep on this grind together. It's good to be together. It's good to be with you. It's good to have a podcast. It's good to share it with you. I hope you have an amazing week as you pursue clarity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>